First Kelly Ayotte voted to defund Planned Parenthood, risking health care for millions of women. The organization may be reeling in controversy, but Planned Parenthood is on the offensive, with a short-run ad buy with a familiar but tested approach. Now Republicans want to shut down the government to block funding for Planned Parenthood. It is a timely issue in Washington, but this month the Republican-held executive council in Concord defunded the group at the state level citing concerns about the national organization and questions about the sale of aborted fetal tissue for medical purposes. Even Hillary Clinton has called the videos that sparked the mess disturbing. But she fired an early shot in New Hampshire last week, starting what could be the beginning of War on Women Part 2. It's appalling that three men sitting in the chambers of the executive council would deny women across this state the health care they need and deserve. This is the same old tired attack that the Democrats have been using for years, and it's false. It's not tired it, because this is real, this is the truth, this is what Republicans believe. But even if it is as much strategy as it is substance, it has worked before. Contraception, it's working just fine. Just leave it alone. <laughs> in 2012, Republicans tried hard to avoid a debate over women's issues, but in the end, it stuck. As for the latest ad, Senator Kelly Ayotte's office responded quickly calling it a false partisan attack by extreme special interests and challenged doubters to check her record. Josh McKelvin, WMUR, News 9.